What is the relationship to screens in the village home world? Yeah, we don't have a hard and fast rule, um, although we ask for screens to be off during classes, mm. unless it's part of the class. Right. A lot of the classes would have an element of, okay, well, let's do research on this, or let's look this up, or there could be a, you know, a video that the the teacher, the snippet that the teacher wants to show them or, you know, stuff like that. Um, kids share things. Um, all of that is okay. We ask that the phones are off during classes mm -hmm. unless it's related to the class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's a constant, honestly, for the, the teenagers, it's a constant, it's a constant thing mm -hmm. that the, the teachers are either you know, going with the flow on, mm -hmm. if it's a, the, the culture is the kids pretty much put them away. I mean, yeah. that's the standard. So if a kid doesn't or continues to not, then the teacher would like talk to him one-on-one -on -one and say, Hey, you know, what's going on? Right. You know, your, your presence here matters and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and what can we do to set the phone aside for a little bit? Or do you have something going on that you have to monitor, right, right. you know, help me understand. So, but, uh, there isn't a, there isn't a rule against screens. Right. Right. Um, and once again, yeah. it points to that sort of using the culture to carry expectations and to carry, you know, appropriate behavior. Um, right. Uh, uh, you know, not an enforcement, but a, Hey, <laughs> this, is, yep. this is what yep. we do here. And, you know, any given day in a class, there's going to be a couple of kids or some kids that are not tuned in to that moment and nobody's required to tune in to every moment of every class. Right, Good grief. Right. You know, that's not possible. And so our teachers are very comfortable with the, like they aren't offended. You know, if there's a kid that's just kind of hanging out today, mm -hmm. not participating, not contributing to the conversation, it, that's okay. Right. Like, right. you know, there, there isn't a, like I said, there isn't a performative hmm. expectation that, that would be, have any kind of punitive consequences right. if you didn't, you know, uphold that. Mm -hmm. So if there's a whole term and a kid isn't checked in, then that teacher will say to the kid at the end of the term, you may not want to sign up for this class. I don't, doesn't seem like you're that into it. Right, right. <laughs> Why don't you choose something else next time? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Or, you know, what, what can I do that you would be interested in mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever, but you know, the kid doesn't have to sign up again. Right. They don't have right. to continue the class. Yeah. And, and our community votes with their feet. Right. Like they exactly. can, they just stop coming if they don't like it. Mm -hmm. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.